This video will show you how to create an erase to reveal activity. So I have my page here. I used my area capture from the camera icon to capture the eraser icon. So that's what I used there. I have text, I have a box, I have my answer. So now, my preference, I always group these. You'll notice number two I have here, I haven't ungrouped. So right now they're locked and grouped. So I have this group, which those are also grouped. I can ungroup those. This, however, the box is not grouped with the answer because I need to be able to get, the way I'm going to do this is I want my number, my answer, all the way to the back. I want my box all the way to the front. That way, when I color over the answer with the color to the same as the background, the lines of the box will still show. So I'll show you that right now. I have my answer. So I'm going to lock that down separately. I have my box. Now I can group, if I want, I could group all those together. It doesn't matter. So I was using the shake to group, but you could also, and here's shake to ungroup, but you can also do the same with the drop down menu or with the keyboard shortcut. So now I'm going to color over the number one there with the same color background. So to get that same color, I can come here into properties, I can tap the eyedropper and then tap out on the background. And you'll notice here that it selected that orange. So I can pick up a pen. I can come in the properties. I can select the eyedropper tool and then tap the background and notice how that it changed to the orange. Select my line thickness, and now I can go in and cover the answer. You don't have to be so exact if you have that box around it. Uh, that was a small area, the number one, but if you were doing a larger area and you were putting that box around it, you don't have to try to stay in the lines because since I just put the ink on there, that became the topmost layer on this whole page. If I tap on this item which is the word answer the eraser picture and the box and if i bring that to the front now it's covering over that layer underneath which is the ink then i would go and lock that in place so i can do that again very quickly over here again so i've got my answer that's locked now i need that group and i will go ahead and group that up a pen properties I know that it's this orange but if I didn't select the dropper tap on the background the color that I want change my line thickness and now I can color in so it's disappeared now to bring that group to the front so order bring to front that's over top of the ink now so the line is over top of it and then I'm going to lock that in place. So when the students are doing the activity, ask the question, they can figure out what their answer is and then erase to reveal the answer. Those are the steps to create an erase to reveal activity.